What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we got in the mail this new Creator Elite 2.0 scanner and we are going to open it up. We're gonna start it up for the first time and we're gonna review it and see how it's performing in an auction car. Alright guys, so stay tuned and let's get into the video. Right, so let's open it up. And here we have the scanner guys. So let's put it up for the first time. Let's just turn it on. And well, I see that we have a small speaker right here. I guess it's for the, when you push the buttons, you can hear the speakers. And well, we have a nice, nice touch finish orange um, plastic on the side. At the back we have, well, uh, the credentials made by launch creator elite 2.0 all right so it already boot up and the first thing right here uh, we see that we got upgrades and right away I'm connected to the Wi-Fi so right away it's picking up um, a software update I actually did the software update um, when you boot it up you're gonna see this in gray that means that you already have the latest updates but if you see a red uh, version right here next to it that means you have an up update available so this tool comes uh, with a demo installed already we can select uh, let's go to the session come on come on come on we can select four let's select an expedition and here we can do a hell report system scan or you can select individually a module so we're gonna select that module individually and what I like on this scanner is that you can go to immobilizer so you can program your own key so let's go to select functions and there we go you can program program your own key on 4 which is pretty pretty good not all scanners support this so let's just uh, put that insert it's already ignition on so it's waiting for data uh, well you already put the ignition switch on so it says to switch it off and pull the key out we're gonna take it out insert the new key that you want to program after 10 minutes have been done so you're gonna wait you're gonna press ok and it says do you want to program more keys no so you successfully already program a key using this little scanner it doesn't cost too much it's really affordable you can uh, take a look on the website Amazon I will leave the link in the description so you can check it out it says please turn up the ignition and three times and this is the whole process you gotta do well exactly the same thing uh, that Ford does so we're gonna press ok and well this is all the programming prompt so if we read a fault it says immobilizer ok but this thing is really really nice let's just go to the F350 see if we got the same option system selection immobilizer special function and we have the same function so how cool is that so you don't need a high expensive uh, high-end scanner to do this you just need a small one and well you can buy the uh, the subscriptions separately if you go to mall you're gonna see the the software options let me just uh, show you really quick uh, it's gonna take a little bit because my Wi-Fi here sucks so here we have all the options I got the American version so if we select the American version right here I already got the whole package but if you want the Asian like Honda and all those cars you need to buy the software separately well it depends on what car you have so this is really nice and well uh, it's really good to have this separate because what if you just working on one single car that you own not multiple and it's really practical for people that uh, are small business owners they can buy like multiple of these things and just have the software separate for every single car or the same one um, just give this one to one technician so the technician cannot wait a lot of time to use the same uh, scanner just can uh, move it separately to different people and well this thing saves a lot of money and it's really practical 
and all the time that I've been using it I haven't had any issues it's really practical really fast to connect and it hasn't glitched ever since so it's pretty cool most scanners glitch right away but the screen feels really responsive didn't glitch at all it's responsive quick and yep really good scanner guys so the other cool thing is if we go to read the full code and we do a code search it will take you directly to Google as you can see it's already in Google if we go over here and you type in my YouTube channel you type in JVFX and it will take you directly to my YouTube channel as you can see that's my YouTube channel and if we click on it then you will see that this thing it's live it's using the the Wi-Fi it's not on demo mode uh, actually my Wi-Fi is a little bit slow right now but that's my YouTube channel right there and if you haven't subscribed to the channel go subscribe guys uh, I upload uh, videos pretty much every week and uh, I'm really happy to do videos that help a lot of people alright guys so today we have this 2003 uh, Hummer H2 and we're gonna check this out we're gonna see the check engine on this car so as you can see we have check engine the customer is complaining about a rough uh, idle it feels like it's misfiring so we're gonna plug in our scanner it's a pretty cool feature that you have this hooked up because it will charge the battery as you're diagnosing so it automatically is gonna do a beam check right now so this is pretty cool and also it shows the voltage 13.1 wow that's, that's pretty cool okay so this is an SUV we have open level radio well it's not even the regional radio but anyways so now it's gonna start doing a health report it's gonna scan all the modules uh, in the vehicle all right so it's done scanning and as you can see it already gave us a diagnostic report for this whole vehicle uh, you have you have to set up your shop name your address telephone number and all that it says professional diagnosis report we have codes in the power uh, engine control module and all that all right so right now we're gonna clear the codes clear every single code in every single module come on come on and we see it's cleaning all the modules so we don't have the uh, check engine light anymore and there we go alrighty pretty good pretty good so when we start the vehicle there we go no more codes so we can actually do special functions in data stream so we're gonna do read data stream engine data and let's go to misfire we're gonna select only the ones we want so we want this misfire current this one this one and this one and okay. and we're gonna press ok and we can see which one in real life it's gonna be misfiring so it says current misfire no current misfire right now we see the cylinder 7 and 8 but the other ones are good looks like it's just a cylinder 7 alright guys so overall the scanner is practical pretty easy and simple to use if you go to settings well you have pretty much all this right here I don't have to go through all that because you pretty much will figure it out on your own it's really simple and a little bit boring to explain but uh, the main attraction of this is how small it is and easy to use it doesn't take a lot of space uh, it starts really quick connects very simple very fast responsive and well what else do you want from a scanner with all this technology just inside this little thing and really powerful all right guys so this will be pretty much the end of the video this is the review for the launch creator elite 2.0 i hope you guys like the uh the review on this video please if you want to buy the scanner, go to the link in down in the description. And well, I hope you like the scanner, guys, as much as I did because it's really, really easy to use. All right. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. Cheers. Bye.